Hello, followers of Virtual Mechanical Physical Therapy. As I approach the second anniversary of the launch of VMPT, I have to say that the most common comment I have received from patients who have chosen VMPT for care is that I cannot believe you were able to help me recover from my injury through an online clinic. Many patients have commented that they saw my clinic on the McKenzie Institute website or other social media platforms or heard about VMPT through word of mouth and were initially not convinced that VMPT had anything to offer that could help them. I am thrilled that I have been able to surprise a lot of people over the last two years, and I look forward to surprising many more by helping them recover from an injury to their low back, neck, arms, or legs. This experience has taught me how difficult it can be for you to make a decision about the best care to rapidly recover from an injury. I suppose being trained as a physical therapist, I take my knowledge of injury recovery for granted, but it is clear to me now just how difficult that de decision can be for others not trained as I am. Having heard from so many of you that not knowing who to go to initially or next if you've not had not experienced relief from other forms of care, I thought it would be helpful for me to post a series of videos to educate you about the treatment I use, Mechanical Diagnosis and Therapy, or MDT for short, can effectively and efficiently help you through determining which treatment will work best for you when you have an injury to your low back, neck, arms, or legs. MDD is designed to start out with a history taking process for safety, condition management, and to understand how your symptoms are behaving. The safety portion is to pick up on any red flags that would warrant a further workup by a physician. For example, red flags that an MDT assessment looks for are the presence of potential fractures or infections, and if those are suspected, an immediate recommendation would be for you to be seen by a physician. Some key components of the history taking portion of MDT are where are your symptoms located? How long have you had your symptoms? Are your symptoms constant or intermittent? What makes your symptoms worse? Do you have an obstruction to movement? And a bonus question of what makes your symptoms better? With this assessment framework in mind, I wanted to tell you about a patient I treated with pain in his low back that traveled down to his left foot. When I put this patient on the screen, he was lying in bed and he said, Brian, I'm in so much pain, I cannot figure out how I can get out of this bed, let alone get into my car to drive to an appointment. You mean to tell me that you can offer me something that will help, help me through this video connection? He said, I'll believe it when I see it. So we went through the history taking portion of the exam with him on the screen lying in bed. The, the exam revealed that his pain was in his low back, traveling down his left leg to his foot, had been around for about a week, and he did not know how or why it started. He reported that his leg symptoms were inter intermittent, but his back symptoms were constant. They were always there. He reported that his symptoms were worse any time he tried to bend forward, get out of bed, or sit for prolonged periods of time. Another, another thing that provoked his pain was getting up out of a chair. He felt like he couldn't straighten up when he, when he moved from that sitting to standing position. He found that he felt best when he was standing. He, dot, he did not display any red flag symptoms during the assessment, so I proceeded with the movement exam. Given that the patient, this patient's pain was severe, I knew he would not tolerate a lot of movements that made his, his, him worse. So from the history, it sounded like moving his back, bending forward, anything that he did bending forward increased his pain and anything he did extending backwards decreased his pain. So I started the exam with him lying on his stomach with pillows propped under his chest to keep to, so his upper body was propped up. He reported that he had less pain overall in his low back and his leg in that position. Then I had him do a half push-up where he lifted his upper part of his body up while leaving his hip, hips on down on the surface. By the end of the first session, we were able to determine that sitting with good posture and doing lumbar extension exercises on his stomach allowed him to control his pain. Over the next five days, I saw him for two more visits and he coached him on continuing the lumbar extension exercises with more force and more, reposition, more repetitions. And at the end of those five days, he was able to abolish his pain and get back to doing the things he enjoyed. At the end of our last visit, he chuckled and said, I can't believe that you were able to help me through a very debilitating injury over a video. I said, I'm glad you are now convinced. If you're suffering from low back pain that may be traveling down your leg, I'd be interested in working with you through my clinic, Virtual Mechanical Physical Therapy, to determine if we can find a position or movement that will allow you to rapidly resolve your condition. In my next video, I will be talking, I will, I will be talking about the assessment and treatment of neck pain using mechanical diagnosis and therapy. Thank you for listening.